as you can see there is no connection between my computer and the ESP8266 you can see ESP8266 is blinking very slowly so I will change the code remotely via over the air through my Wi-Fi and upload the code and change the speed of this LED As you can see this code is getting compiled and once the compilation is done it will directly upload to the Wi-Fi chip through Wi-Fi router so there is no USB connection between my node MCU and this computer. You can see the compile is almost going to finish and it is going to upload. So uploading process already started as you can see there is no connection between this computer and uploading is done so I change the code to 100 milliseconds and you can see the code is being uploaded through Wi-Fi so there is no USB connection between this device and computer wonder how to do this let's start the tutorial hello friends welcome to my electronics lab i am satya host for today's tutorial how to do ota that is over the air with esp8266 ota is very simple you have to follow only four steps first you need to connect your esp8266 with your laptop or pc using usb cable or a serial port once done upload your ota code that's it now connect your ESP8266 to your Wi-Fi network once the connection is complete open Arduino IDE go to tools choose your port in case of port you have to remove your USB serial port and connect it to the Wi-Fi port there will be once the OTA code is uploaded you can see there is a Wi-Fi port showing up in the tool sections select your port then upload your code like normal Arduino. Let's jump into the software pad. To use OT of Arduino, you have to install Python. First, go to Google, search for Python download. Open the first link, go to here. Here you can download the latest version of your Python. But in this tutorial, I am using Python 2.7.13. So you can download from here or you can download particular release from here. I have already downloaded the installation. So you have to go to open the installation file so i have already installed the python libraries so for demonstration purpose i am showing how to install it again so in the bottom you can see add python.exe to path so you have to check here and click on next so it will take some time and install all the libraries in your systems then go to my computer go to properties and click on advanced system setting click on environment variables then click on new in the new you can add py underscore home something like this then add the variable path so I have already added the variable path something like this so this is the path where your python library is installed I have updated this variable value in the description below you can copy it directly from there so I have already added this system variable into the path then you have to restart your system click on restart so i have already restarted my pc that's it you are ready to use your ota code now open arduino ide go to tools choose your esp8266 board in this case my esp8266 board is esp12e then choose the correct port number my port number is com3 go to file go to examples then Arduino OTA click on basic OTA so this is the basic OTA code so if you will see this code you can see this is the normal head file for ESP8266 then <coughs> this is MDNS MDNS used for setting up domain name server for ESP8266 
we are using this OTA using UDP protocol. So for that purpose, we have to add Wi-Fi UDP dot H. Then include Arduino dot OTA dot H. And change your SSID and password according to your need. This is the beginning of the code where we need to set up few things. Serial dot begin eleven five two double zero. This is the board that I am setting up to print something on my serial port. Serial dot print ln booting. This is just I am printing something for my reference. Wi-Fi dot mode Wi-Fi STA. So this is this will go into the station mode. Then we need to begin the Wi-Fi connection. For that we need to call Wi-Fi dot begin. Here they are just confirming whether the Wi-Fi is connected or not. If it is not connected, then they are again restarting the whole system. ESP dot restart. So what happens is this loop under this loop, this function is always being called when you are doing something uh, update sending some updates this will catch up your code and put into the flash drive of your esp8266 so this is the whole code you can directly upload and see whether it's working or not so now i can upload the code it will take some time to upload the whole code once upload is done, open your uh, serial port monitor. You can see the IP address of your systems. That means it is connected to your Wi-Fi network. Close it. Close your Arduino IDE. Then go to Arduino and open the same code again. In the port section, you can see there is another network port showing up. This is the port you need to select to download any code to the ESP8266 and the next go. Select this. Now you can add some your logic code to your ESP8266 code so that you can send it to good file examples. I'll just copy this blink code. Because in this case, uh, Node MCU board pin 2 is connected to my LED. I am setting up my direction of the pin mode. That's it. You are ready to go. Change the delay of the time. Now you are ready to go upload the code. As you can see, the port is not connected via COM3 so there is no USB connections to the ESP8266 so I'm uploading it via my Wi-Fi router now compile and upload the code that's it our upload is complete now you can see the LED blinking in the ESP8266 board so I change the code to 100 milliseconds and you can see the code is being uploaded through Wi-Fi so there is no USB connection between this device and computer. Thanks for watching my Lotrinch Lab. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other video tutorials. Thank you. Have a good day.